recommendation for primary health behavior for behavioral health in the primary care setting is that we examine the evidence base because the study trial of antidepressants showed that only 3% of people actually benefited from a regime of antidepressants as we currently prescribe them. Once, and I know that the, the actual claims of benefit were higher, but once you actually look at the, the stated outcome data as compared to the, the secondary outcome data, which was what was reported, and 10% of all people that enter a primary care doctor leave with an antidepressant prescription, and 75% of those people don't have any psychiatric diagnoses at all. Yet, a recent study came out that said that if people that had depression were given placebo to start with, only 20% of them relapsed. Yet, if they were given antidepressants to start with, then 40% of them relapsed. So, it's, it's quite possible that we are doing much more harm than good with our current paradigm, and I think we need if we need to strongly re-examine this idea that everyone who suffers emotionally has an illness. And I think we need to look at emotional distress mm -hmm. versus really disease. And I need to, I think we need to say, look, these things are painkillers. They're not a specific antidote to a, a disease that has never been shown to have genetic evidence. So if we're talking distress, then we can talk painkillers. But like painkillers, then there comes a point at which we need to say a painkiller is addictive, it's dangerous, and it needs to be given short -term. And not to use heavy machinery. <laughs> and there's a lot of evidence for, for, for short-term use. I've got a paper in the other room about uh, uh, use as needed in antipsychotics. And seen. I just videoed her whole <laughs> thing. Thank you. We're gonna, we're gonna, um, <laughs>